Hi everyone, it's Jules and I'm going to be doing a glue book session in my glue book today. And I have this amazing photo of Morgan Freeman. And then I picked a bunch of things that I felt went with it. So in this, this is the Ohuhu marker book. Um, and in it, I had started ripping out every other page. The pages are perforated. And now I have started ripping out to basically two thirds of the pages. So it's getting chunky. And so I think that's going to work. I did, I finished off taking out the rest in the whole book. So I think that'll work. And for the most of the pages, I did take it out at the perforation just because I felt like I was messing with the binding when I tried to go in further. So there you go. I hope you are doing well. And yeah, so the fall season is here in Minnesota and the colors are starting to get so pretty. We went to lunch. I took my parents to lunch. Well, really, they took me to lunch, but I drove <laughs> uh, in a town nearby on the Mississippi River and we sat outside on the patio. It's still really nice here. And it was so nice. So they just moved up here from Iowa. So they're not used to all of the trees that we have up here, which is pretty fun for them to see. And yeah, so we're having bonfires out on our patio, which we love to do. So. Yeah, so I'm trying to get those to glue down the perforated little strips. Hopefully it stays. <clears throat> I'll keep you updated as to if it starts to fall apart or anything. And right there in the middle, there's a pretty big bend, I guess I would say. Um, it's not laying as flat anymore, but it's still my absolute favorite blue book. So there you go. Um, what else is going on? Oh, so I obviously feel bad for the people in Florida and especially Fort Myers Beach. Uh, basically a family member of family lost their condominium on Fort Myers Beach. So that's been really hard for the family to see and deal with. So, but I will share a photo that my cousin had sent me. I'm not going to show her just because I'm sure she doesn't want me to, but I will show myself and my hair. I mean, I was like 12 or 13 years old. So we're talking the eighties. And then <laughs> what it actually looks like, is just like a, what do you call it? A coonskin hat? I don't know. It's crazy. The eighties were, they were something. So here I, you know, Morgan is taking up most of the page. And so I just wanted some background pieces. So I'm actually collecting the scraps that I had already cut off of these other images, like that blue label. I don't know if it's whiskey or what, but so see how that kind of matches over there on the left there, that bottle. And this is the other side of that. So taking those to use as background pieces. Normally on the bigger images like Morgan Freeman, I would probably put it in my big glue book that I just put down one image and then I glue little ones around it over time. But I just thought it was so fun. I had to share them. So in this glue book. And that image, the Morgan Freeman one is from the Lazur magazine. Oh, I did get my Lazur magazine from, I think it comes from the Netherlands. And it's amazing. It looks different. They have kind of a different logo or branding on the front. So, and it was more expensive. So I won't be ordering too many of them, maybe a couple a year or something, but it was fun to get one. I hadn't gotten one in quite a while, so that was fun. I don't think any of these other images are from Lazur. They're from like whisk a whiskey magazine, that fine art connoisseur magazine, which actually the bottom left and top um, in the, on the right, that top left image that I just basically covered up. <laughs> that was from Fine Art Current Sewer. So and I know some people don't like it when I cover up images like that, but that's just how I roll. So you do you, boo. <laughs> so 
So last night we went, we golfed, which is crazy that we're golfing in October in Minnesota. But we golfed, we did pretty well. And then we decided to go out and we decided to go to a brewery and they were having trivia. And we had so much fun. Now we're like, we need to find trivia like once a week. Because between my husband knowing history and sports and me knowing pop culture and those sorts of things we kind of make a good team and I friend our friend was with us as well and she knew a bunch of stuff so we kind of balanced each other out so that was super fun I did fussy cut these out loosely fussy cut <laughs> I love these frogs I love frogs I won't tell you the story about when I accidentally stepped on one one time <laughs> It's, it wasn't funny. I screamed. Poor guy. So I'm just trying to figure out where to put these guys. And I end up putting them together over there, which I liked. But then I really did cover up that blue head, which is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So we went to this restaurant here in the Twin Cities called Sea Salt. My mom and cousin and I went there. It's right on Minnehaha Falls. I don't know if the address would be. It must be Minneapolis. I don't know if it's Minneapolis or Edina. It's just north of the airport. And they're only open. I think they're closing now on the 8th or 9th. So if you live in the Twin Cities and you like seafood, I highly recommend it. But Minnehaha Falls is not falling. It's dried up. But I think I had a shrimp po' boy and some clam chowder. It was so good. And then I'm going to add my washi tape. I'm so happy to be sharing those washi tapes with my patrons. Because they're so darn pretty. And then I'm trying to find a quote to go with it. And I end up saying, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. And I think I had another one here. I did this yesterday. Today's Wednesday the 5th. And I did this yesterday on Tuesday. Feel the fear and do it anyway. I like that quote. A long time ago, a boss told me about, said, you know, what would what be possible if we weren't afraid, if we weren't living in fear of what could happen? So anyway, there you go. I think it came together nicely. I like it. Love Morgan Freeman. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.